hold on. I don't have anything else to spend the money on right now. That's a lie. I do have stuff to spend the money on. It's the 7C Club thing. They want me to spend the money that I'm earning. That I'm about to earn. How dare they? Well, I'm gonna give them my money because I want that Rooster Wither fame. That's what. Anyway, a few more seconds. Gotta drain the final few. Alright, it is Rock Plorts and Tab uh, and Phosphorus Plorts that are going to go down at this point in time, which I think means I want to sell all of them that I've got. Like, I know that the Rock Plorts can go a whole lot lower than this, I think. So, this seems like a decent amount. I don't know the maximum or minimums of how far these things can go, but nonetheless, even if I don't sell them, apparently prices still go down quite a bit, so... It's a bad day in the market by the looks of things, and that day is going to get a whole lot worse for everyone who currently has stocks in either the amount of rock plorts and phosphorus plorts, because, yep, prices are gonna go down. Here's a little bit of insider trading. Dump all your rock plorts while you can. 2,458 new bucks as of right now. Let's see that number. Go all the way up. Batch number one, batch number two, batch number three, and batch number four of these bloody things. That is 200 rock plots, 200 phosphor plots. Oh, and we still haven't reached the one with 10,000. I kind of want to go to the 10,000 right now just so that I can also expand towards the lab and have everything in my immediate vicinity. Uh, real quick taking a break, gathering some beet roots and whatnot or heartbeats. Making sure that my slimes are fed. Like, I might be selling all that poop right now, but I'm going to be running out of poop at this rate. And I think the last I'll sell is the final 150-ish on rock board. So three more quick batches. I'll leave the final few phosphorus ports that I've got just in case, because I don't want to crash the price completely, which I theoretically have already done, but if someone requires phosphorus ports all of a sudden, I do want to make sure I have some in my storage. So, at this rate, I think we really shall be reaching the 10,000 willies. No, nearly there, nearly there, the last 50, and that's still not the end of my supply on rock ports. Oh, God. It's fun to see numbers go up, that's what. I still got 186. Dear oh dear, I think I should sell even more. Yeah, I should not keep that many rock ports in my storage. I have way too many, but we have surpassed the 10,000 new bugs. Hell yeah. And the worst thing is, we haven't even gotten to the most expensive plots just yet. All this money I've got right now in the grand scheme of things is absolutely nothing, I fear. But hey, at least it does make me happy. And that is the final amount of rock plots I have got on sale. I mean, I still have a few, but again, just like with the phosphor ones, I'm keeping them. And for the rest, I'm gonna wait till the prices go up a little bit, because yeah, someone else has apparently been dumping some of their plots. Which is fine. Anyway, um, everyone is fed right now, the Oka Okas are growing. Um... I want to purchase the lab, but before we do that, I want to see if I can help someone out. Let's see what we've got. Who do we want to help today? Of course, we're going to help our Bob. Chicken! Definitely Bob, definitely chicken. Two stony hens, one roostro, and three normal. Uh, oh, one roostro, right? Two stony hens. I... Oh, we, we already had a ton of stony hands in our inventory. I forgot about that. Why am I not uh, getting any more stony hands? No. Uh, one, two... Oh, no. Nope. That's one too many. Uh, then the Roostro. And one, two... And... Three. And we get some beetroots, carrots, cuberries, and 1,000 new bucks. Bob, you're amazing. Thank you. I'll take it. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Ah, I like the range exchange. I help them out, they help me out, everyone is happy. Which means, yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. You want your heartbeats. Here you go, have a few, you have a few, 
No Oka Okas, unfortunately. Uh, you know what? I need to get rid of the carrots anyway. You guys eat carrots, have fun. This is like my garbage disposal. That's what it is. And the cubeberries. Oh, hold on. No, no, no. Cubeberries can go right in here because you're slowly running out, which means I will have to move over towards the Oka Okas for you as well, but already it's just filling up. Ah, amazing. Anyway, the lab. I want to see what we can get here. Show me. Allows you to begin your career as an amateur unlicensed slime scientist. I'm going to assume this is going to cost a lot of money as well, but... You've unlocked the lab, a special ranch expansion that will allow you to create gadgets using slime science. Head on over to the barn and get started. Uh, gadgets as in... Let's see... Gadget modes? Call me intrigued. And we've got four... We've got five plots, I think. And this is going to lead directly towards my caves. I do hope my slimes won't disappear right now. Like, they still have to go through a winding, winding passage. So that should be fine. Now, let's see. So one, two, three, four. Loving the amount of extra plots. And one extra right over here. So five in total, just like before. What am I going to use it for? No clue. But we'll figure it out. Time to get crafty. This barn has all the equipment you'll need to begin crafting gadgets using slime science. The gadgets include useful utilities to aid in exploring, defensive turrets, decorations, and more. Defensive turrets against... The tar? Ooh. Fancy. So ha R Refinery. In order to fabricate gadgets, you'll need resource in your refinery. Try shooting a plort into the refinery. But remember, any resource deposited into a refinery cannot be removed. Oh. Okay. And there's one of these things again. Treasure pots. Um. Okay. Uh, how about we do this nice and easy? Then what do I have a whole lot of plorts of? At this point in time. Uh, okay. We have a few rock plorts. We have quite a few tabby plorts. We have a lot of pink plorts which are completely useless to me. Let's dump in 50 of them. Like, really, what am I gonna do with pink plorts except sell them for... How much? Five? Six? Oh, they're up to 12! Wow! Okay, those really increased in price. It's still the worst among all of them, but nonetheless, 12. I like it. Anyway, uh... You know what? I'll add some of the rat plorts as well, even though I can't sell them. We'll just see what happens. 50 of them in total. Absolutely perfect. Let's see what this refinery is all about. And also wondering what kind of gadgets we can create. I'm sure defensive thirds could be handy, but uh, press E to activate. That's all we've got. And including all... That's a whole lot of plots. My god. So many of them. Anyway, uh, okay. Yeah, shoot them in. Uh, shoot them all in. We don't need 50 of them, so this will be fine. Can, can you also shoot stony hands in there? Nope, that answer is definitely a no. Okay, so the Builder Shop. The Builder Shop allows you to purchase blueprints. A blueprint is required to build any gadget. Be sure to check the Builder Shop often for new blueprints. What Builder's Shop? Is that not in there? Oh, that's Builder Shop. Okay. So... Novice Pump allows you to siphon underground resources. Last one cycle. What's the cycle? Uh, no, Novice Apiary allows you to collect resources from wild bees. A pink teleport. A set of two teleports that can be used to create your own quick travel link. Permanence? I like that. Pink Warp Depot. A set of two gadgets that allows you to remotely transfer resources between two points. Okay, there's a whole lot going on here. A, a drone, a helper bot that can be programmed to buzz around your ranch and perform a variety of tasks. What tasks? Med station rapidly drains your energy to restore health. Fixes you up fast. Useful in case you're dealing with a whole lot of dangerous slimes, like the explosive ones. Hydro turret, a defensive cannon that will automatically target tar and blast them with water. 
Nice. Thus, if there is a Tar outbreak, you've got your defenses. Uh, slime Ball Hoop. Begins a round of Slime Ball as soon as a single slime passes through the hoop. What's your high score? Basically a mini game. Also very expensive. Um, slime Stage. Allows you to let other slimes know who is unequivocally the number one slime. What? Pink Slime Lamp. Decorative Lamp Housing. Happy Slime. Novice Gordo Slime. A special snare that captures a Gordo Slime. Made it with food and weight. I can grab my own Gordo Slimes. And also Novice Drill, which are, is currently sold out. Allows you to drill for buried resource. Okay, I'm not entirely sure how the pump would work. What I'm currently interested in most is a drone. So, purchase that and then. But do I have to. Do I have to buy more? Like, it's still showing there. Or does it disappear right now because I checked it out? The Fabricator. Once you have a blueprint, the Fabricator allows you to craft gadgets using resources stored in the refinery. Give it a try. Uh, extract this as a novice drill, which we currently already have. Requires 10 pink plots, 6 rock plots, rat plots. Okay, the drone. Honey? Quantum Hunter Wild Honey Jellystone Hexacomb? What? Okay, I'm not gonna make any drones, that's for sure. Um, you know what? Let's fabricate a novice drill. Oh, uh, we can't because we need rock plots and rat plots. Alright, apparently I'm gonna need a whole lot of plots in the future. Gadget modes. In order to place gadgets, you need to enable gadget modes. With T to toggle gadget modes. Which we currently don't have. In gadget mode, you cannot fag or shoot, but you can see all the build sites in the world that have a place you get. Okay. Oh, like that. And then wherever I want, I can place things down. Also out in the wild? Like that drill, for example. A place site. Once you found a build site, approach it to open the place gadget menu. Then simply select the gadget you wish to place. Oh. So. E to activate. And then you can place whatever the hell you want, including decorations. Nice. That's pretty awesome. Science class passed. That covers the basic of slime science. To learn more, check out the new slime science section in your Slimepedia. It's loaded with handy info. It's a day of reading again, isn't it? Slime science. Okay, the refi... No, uh... Wasn't the extractor? Or a pump? Uh, let's see... It's a drill, which is an extractor. What do we know? about the extractors in that case. Extractors are a special class of slime science gadgets that are essential for building all other types of gadgets. Extractors include drills, pumps and apiaries. Once placed on the build site, an extractor will begin working collecting resources from the environment over time. Once it is full of resources, an extractor can be emptied. The best extractors can repeat this cycle multiple times before they finally break down. Each extractor can find exclusive resources if used in the correct zone. Pumps can find special resources in the dry reef. Drills can find special resources in the indigo quarry. APRs can find special resources in the moss blanket. And all extractors can find special resources in the glass desert. Okay. I haven't read about the glass desert before, but uh, I prefer moss blanket. But we can go to the indigo quarry and dry reef. So pumps and drills is what we can work with. And in order to make that... Let's say a novice pump. Let's purchase that one. So then we can make a novice pump and a novice drill. Uh, the pump would be for the nearby thing. We need boom plots and tabby plots. Let me grab a bunch of those real quick. All right, got myself some tabby plots and boom plots plus 50 phosphorus because I have them anyway. Let's see, store these all in here and then see if we can make one of those drill pumps and whatnot. Here we go. Bingo. Awesome. It's not too many. And there's got to be a way to make that more manual, right? At some point. Also pink teleporter. If I were to make a teleporter, where would I make that? Because there's already some teleporters around. So this would maybe be more useful if... 
If I were to place a teleporter here and near one of my silos, that could work, but might be a bit of a waste. I'm not entirely sure if I... Like, if I were to make one pink teleporter, or two teleporters in this case, and were to make them, can I just remove them again and place them elsewhere, or does it only work once? Like, these pumps, for example, they will be destroyed. And you tell me, why is this so expensive of all the stuff that I don't have? Like, I'm thinking hexacomb, jellystone, wild honey. Jellystone probably is a special resource that has to come from a drill, and the wild honey slash hexacomb might be resources related to the apiary thing that we saw right over here. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, novice apiary. I'll make one of those or buy one of those as well, just so that we have them. So the novice apiary would require honey plots, which we don't have. That's fine. Uh, a pump would work in the dry reef. So let's see if we can make one of those. Novice pump fabricates. Onwards to science. Okay. And there was also the novice drill, which we would need rock plots for. Really quickly grabbing those as well. I have to say, though, that kind of makes me sad that I just sold all of my rock plots. Because I'm going to need a whole lot more, that's what. All right, here we go, you hungry, hungry beasts. Have some rock plots so that I can make whatever the hell I want. So, let's see. Uh, we have one novice pump. And we want one novice drill. There we go. So. Let's make one more of each. Because we can. And I'm not entirely sure if we can get even more. There's probably going to be improvements here. Like this, the novice drill is not going to be the, si the best drill out there. But what we learned is that in regards to the extractors. Uh, pumps can be a special resource in the dry reef. So. Let's make a real quick trip towards a dry reef and see if we can place a pump down. Alright, gadget mode activated. And apparently there are quite a few spaces where we can place them. So how about we try it right over here then. One novice pump allows you to siphon underground resources last one cycle. This gadget is installed permanently until demolished. There you go. And one cycle takes 20 minutes. Don't destroy my thingy, Michik, okay? So, can I just place another pump down and then see what happens? Like, I'm not going to use them for anything else, so... And this is a dry reef, so have another pump. There we go. And then I... Oh, yeah, I can also turn them around. Press E. Huh. Nice. It's kind of adorable. Anyway, uh, I'm going to take a real quick trip towards the indigo quarry and then I'm gonna place my drills down all right right in my trusty cave right near the teleporter so let's say I place you down right over here one novice drill install and I'll place one over here there we go install awesome so in 12 minutes of real time they'll apparently be ready with hopefully some rare resources maybe you make a whole lot of noise, that's what. Anyway, I guess that's awesome. A whole new world just basically opens up with that. Huh. Well, anyway, uh, friend, now, you're not supposed to be here. Excuse me, just a little bit further. There's so many boom ports all over the place. Ah, uh, clean up duty. If one of those drones can pick this stuff up, that would be brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Give me all the stuff. Because right now I'm beginning to think that maybe free ranging these phosphor boom slimes was a bad idea. Just maybe. Or it might have been the best idea I have ever had. Oh, hello. Um, as I'm cleaning up, new upgrade available Treasure Cracker. Allows you to bypass the locks on basic treasure pots, which is the stuff we've been finding at times. Oh, finally. Finally, we're getting somewhere. And I guess I'll take these plots along with me to dump inside of the lab. Alright, phosphor plots and boom plots go right into the refinery. Sure, we can't get them out, but I've got more than enough to spare right now. This treasure cracker, show me. Uh, da, da, da. 
Um, I thought it would be here. Or did I just get that? Did I get that? No. Or do it? Oh, I need to. I need to buy that. Um, did I read you? No, I didn't. I built this lab after meeting a slime scientist and learning about the wonders of ploy technology. I figured it would be fun to tinker with it on rainy days. I only nearly blew myself up three times, which is pretty good given my tendency for that sort of thing in my other hobbies. But it soon became a reminder that I have a thirst for adventure and being cooped up in a barn all day wasn't ever going to satisfy that thirst. Soon I began to set my sights for horizons beyond this ranch, and once I got to thinking on it... Further still... Hobson. Hmm. Well... It's always nice to think about more stuff in the future and whatnot, what you can do, what you're capable of doing. Uh, right now though, I'm just thinking of where am I gonna get this stuff from and I can see my home. Nice. Was I always able to see that? Maybe? Not sure, but this treasure cracker, can I find it here? Yes, I can. Allows you to bypass the locks on basic treasure. What? I want that. But it's expensive. Like everything on this bloody ranch. But I want it. Okay, what are the prices of things? Can I somehow get 4,500? Um, I have not been selling any of these and prices are going to go down horribly. Um, rat plots. I'll go for the rat plots for now. Come on, daddy needs 4,500 gold, which I so am going to get with this. Well, not specifically with this, but at least with the stockpile of rat ports that I still had. Thank God for me. And there we go, that is 4,500 plus a little bit of extra, just because we like it. So, show me. Treasure Cracker. Allows you to bypass the locks on basic treasure pots. Thank you. So, any basic treasure pot that we find right now, we can do that. I instantly am going to go out into the wilds to look that one up, because I at least remember one of those treasure pot locations. And it was all the way near our old tabby friend. Alright, let's see. Right over... Was it here? Yes! It's a green one. What did we get from this? Coral grass patch. Uh, this soft pink grass makes for a lovely piece. A place to take a nap. This is the fabricator to build this gadget. Okay. Can I build that multiple times though? Like for example, if I were to go over here, can I just say, oh, uh, decorations. No. Okay, I guess I can't do that here. Alright, back on the far, far range. Or our own slime range. Let's say right over here. Can I? And then utilities, decoration. Was it a blueprint that I got? It's probably a blueprint that I got. And then I can try and make that. Is that how this works? I think so. Still a little bit confused. Oh, and there was one here as well. Is it here? No, it's not. Is it in my fabricator? With decorations. It is. I need pink plorts, 10 of them, puddle plorts, deep brine and hexacomb. All that for a lovely place to take a nap. I don't see the use, but sure. One thing for sure though, by the looks of things, how exp I need 20 of them even. 20 pink plorts for that. I've got a feeling that pink plorts are all of a sudden, a lot more valuable than I thought they were. Dear oh dear. Um, yeah. Well, I certainly can't make that yet, but I can at least open you up. So, what do you have inside of you? Uh. Hello, deep brine. And honeycombs. And whatever the hell that is. Deep brine and a strange diamond. Hello. Let's see. Deep brine. Slime science material. Not slime food. That's good. Deep brine is a common resource exclusive to the dry reef obtained with a pump. 
not safe for drinking, Deep Brine is thought to be water from the slime sea that has been filtered by the subterranean coral of the dry reef. It is significantly denser than fresh water and loaded with salts. Deposit the deep brine into the lab's refinery where it can then be used for fabricating slime science gadgets. Okay, so that's how I use that and how I get it. And the same goes for... Um, do I have the other information as well? I should get the other information. There we go. Strange diamonds. Very strange, but even more valuable. The strange diamonds are a rare resource obtained with a drill. Even in the dark, these diamonds seem to shine as if light is passing through them. Strange diamonds are highly valued for their use in a variety of warp tack processes. Being almost impossibly dense and intricate in their composition, a strange diamond can reflect light within itself so profoundly that it actually bends time. Wait, what? Okay then. And same thing, deposit into the slime refinery thing and hexacomb. Hexacomb is an uncommon resource obtained with an apiary. Hexacomb is the result of bees arranging buzzer wax into complex patterns to store their honey and eggs. Why the hexagonal shape? Bees understand that the hexagon is the shape of the future. Bees were sci-fi before it was cool, <laughs> apparently. Bee stuff in geometry, the chocolate, the peanut butter of nature. <laughs> Adorable. But we then just all blast it inside of here. And then we can use it in whatever the hell we want to create. Which in this case isn't anything just yet. Well, the hexacomb. We can make one drone soon after we get jellystone. From somewhere. Where from? No clue. It's gonna take a while. But hey, we had... You need four deep brine for this coral grass patch? My god. That is so expensive. I do hope that's a thing of you can place it down wherever you want, how many times you want, and not you have to create that thing several times over. Because that would suck. Anyway, um, yeah. I'm, I've got money for more, but I don't think I can make more. And do I need a pink walk depot, a med station, a hydro turret? Right now, not really. Although there's somewhere a place where we can teleport right into the lab. I would like to know where that is. But yeah, right now, um, I have been completely drawn off track of what the hell I wanted to do. I want to explore the uh, names every single time. The bloody names, uh, worlds, the dry reef. I want to explore the bloody dry reef to see for a place where we haven't been just yet. Where we can now go to because we have the bloody jetpack. And ooh, we can even see where our drills and uh, pumps are. Very nice. I wonder if it shows anything if they are ready. Anyway, uh, location the far range. There's one more of these? There's one more treasure pot somewhere. That's what. Question would then be, however. Where would that be? It's not going to be up here. Can we go through the back? No. Well, apparently there's one more treasure pot hidden somewhere. And I am kind of curious if we are capable of finding that. Here, perhaps. Or if it's in a different area. Like, I doubt they would hide something up here, for example. Like, sure, it might be a nice place, but it's so barren to the point where you're like, yeah, I'm, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. No, definitely not. Well, I guess I'll keep my eyes peeled for if I ever find more of those treasure pots, because we can now permanently open them. Although it's the novice one, right? So that means the more advanced ones are completely out of our reach. Yeah. Well, so much for that, I guess, then. Uh, we still need to purchase the dock area, which is something that will happen in the future. But for now, let me quickly get everything up in order again. And then I'm going to think about what the hell I want to do next. Alright, I think enough time has passed for the pumps and the drills to do their job. So right now I most definitely want to go and check both of those out. See what kind of resources we've got. Like I'm assuming we're getting the strange diamonds and whatnot from the ones from the drills over... Um, over where exactly? Wasn't there a teleport? Oh, the teleport was 
teleport was outside here. There's some teleports where I'm like, was that the one? No, that wasn't the one. There's, there's so many unactivated as of right now, which really shows that there's still a whole lot more possible. But anyway, you show me what have we got? Need to activate. There we go. Ooh. And goodbye to you too. We got Indigonium and two Jellystone. Nice. And you? Um, two Indigonium and Slime Fossil. Hello. Meanwhile, the Jellystone is both solid and squishy at the same time. Yeah, let's take a quick look right after the Slime Fossil has appeared, shall we? There we go. So, Slime Fossil. If history could smile, it would look like this. Ah, <laughs> adorable. Okay, not slime food, slime science material. Slime fossils are an uncommon resource obtained with a drill. Prized for the ancient minerals they contain, slime fossils are like nature capturing a moment in time. Specifically, that moment seems to be when a great avalanche or mudslide occurred and the slime was totally cool with it. Wow. That's both sad and bad, but also rather adorable. What about Indigonium? Heavy metal experts often call this hard rock deep purple. I'm sure they do. Indigonium is a common resource exclusive to the indigo quarry obtained with a drill. The indigonium is the ore that gives the indigo quarry its name. There's a little indigonium found in every inch of the quarry, but the purest ore is only found deep underground. So do I have to look even deeper underground or is this where you get most of it then? And also jelly stone. Gel uh, is both solid and squishy at the same time. Yes. Jelly stone is a common resource obtained with a drill. Jelly stone is a semi hard mixture of minerals and slime, possibly resulting from plorts sinking back into the earth below. Because of its softer texture, it's a favorite stone for sculptors. Nice. Well, happy to have that. I don't have any more drills, unfortunately, so I will have to. I will have to make even more, I assume, because I can't make any more here. I do wonder though, that path, it leads right over there. We haven't been here yet. It's probably the way to get all the way over there and then jump across to wherever. No, I was thinking maybe there's one of those treasure pot things right over there, but chances for that are very small. Either way, that was two tri drills down. Let's see what the... Um, the pumps have in store for us. Because I'm assuming more and more normal resources. And look at you dancing. <laughs> yeah, you did a very good job. Well done. Ooh, hello. Oh, oh god, I... I forgot that I have to store this stuff first. My bad. Be right back. Ah, oh, thank god the stuff is still here. We've got primordial oil. <laughs> really? And deep brine. And what about you, my friend? What do you have in store? Eh. Ooh. You're different. Spiral steam. Nice. Well, I'll bring you back home and then we'll take a quick look. Alright, let's see. We have got ourselves... Um, it's among resources. So, let's see. Primordial oil. This stuff is pre prehist prehistoric. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Primordial oil is a common resource obtained with a pump. Found deep below the surface of the far, far range... Primordial oil is an ancient substance containing a wide array of organic compounds, making it perfect as a base for many slime science creations. Alright, and the deep brine we already knew about, the spiral steam. If you search for it, you'll find something wonderful. Spiral steam is an uncommon resource obtained with a pump. Found in the highly pressurized vacuums of rock below the surface, spiral steam exhibits a curious behavior when released into the atmosphere swirling into a series of dancing spirals before dissipating. It is valued for the countless microparticles found within the steam itself. Apparently, well, how about we just dump it all inside of here and use it some other day, because right now I've got no clue what to use it on. And likewise, I don't exactly have the money for it. Like, sure, I can buy all of this, but... Money is not exactly all too common right now. I definitely want to have more money. And... I could just make one of them. You are so gonna need tons and tons of pink plots like this. I'd almost... With you requiring pink plots for all of these, at least 10, which is a lot more than for the others. 
I'm thinking of doing something silly. I'm thinking you right over here, you're gonna become a corral. You're gonna have high walls. You're gonna have the air net. Perfect. You're gonna have the auto feeder. And you're gonna have the plot collector, which I can't get. I'll grab some money. And I'll grab some inhabitants for that as well. Uh, let's see. Tabby is gonna go up. I'll sell a few tabby plots real quick if I can find where I left them. There they are. Thank you very much. 50 will do. Maybe a little bit much, but... Right now I'm experimenting and I want the money. There we go. So, you all give me what I want. Thank you very much. And... I'm actually gonna need this money. I might even need more. Uh, let's see. Where is that thing? Uh, the... Oka Oka Berry. Or, no. Not Oka Oka. Odd Onion. I want you... Because I want to make a very small garden here. Right over there should do nicely. There we go. Have a garden. And I can always change this around later. You have the old onion. Because apparently... Salad bar. Okay, if you say so. What would that be? Place a certain amount of things around in the garden and whatnot. Where is it? Where is it? No, that's boop. Ball pits. Jump into a corral containing at least 40 slimes. That's adorable. Uh, almost slime fabricate your first sli uh, slime science gadget. Where is this thing? Salad bar. Have three different veggie gardens on the ranch at the same time. Yeah, that was only a matter of time, basically. Anyway, old onions will be growing here. I can keep the old onions myself. And all the carrots I can dump right into here. Which will be a pen that's going to have an air net. Because... No, it's going to have the port collector, that's what. Here we go. And let me quickly grab a few inhabitants as well. Friends, I need your help, for I am in desperate need of tons and tons of pink plorts. And you got exactly what I want. I am definitely assuming that this is way too much. And I'm also currently doubting about whether or not I should have placed this right over here. Like, I have this garden right over there. Maybe it would have been better if I placed the slimes here? Like, if they are without food, they're gonna figure out that they are without food. And... Nah. I might be doing something stupid here. Probably. I'm just gonna stuff all of them inside of here. It's probably a mistake. They will go all zombie style on me. And if they do, they will probably eat just the onions and whatnot. But there's no other slime around. So, theoretically, that should keep everything handy. I'll take the old onions. They can get the carrots. Although they would be very hungry in the nearby future as well. I just put it on slow. Or medium. There's a lot of them in there. This might be a bad idea. That's what I'm saying. I'm... This is a garbage disposal. Any kind of food that I don't need is gonna go in here. Although I have a real worry whether or not the slimes are gonna like that idea. Especially if they can see their food right there. Oh well, if we have a slime outbreak, we'll figure it out soon enough. But yeah, that's the plan. Either way, that is that done. I have got all the resources that I want right here. Still not too many. Would require a whole lot more. Um, Yeah. I kind of want to make more of the extractors and whatnot, so that I don't have to wait all too long in the future. But it would require a whole more, a lot more pink plots and whatnot. Uh, I think I'm actually going to do that. I think I'm actually going to really quickly grab some pink plots for myself. It's not a lot, but 50 for now will do. For as much as we can actually do anything with them. Uh, so, what I want. It's still not too much, but it's the start. Because I think if I want any better extracts in the future, I'm going to require those resources as well. So, I'm going to create one, two, probably three. Like, what did I need most for the drones? It was Jellystone, which I could get everywhere. Hexacomb is a little bit rare, which I currently can't get. Uh... It probably doesn't matter what I get, but I'll get two pumps as well, and one of each more. Perfect. Three normal drills, three normal pumps. 
let's place them down. Alright. The old spots are still available, so if I wanted, I could put all the drills right over here. And no one would care. Like, just place them. Doesn't matter. Every single spot is reusable. It's absolutely perfect. Here we go. Three of you. And onwards we go to the... Coral reef. Deep coral. Dry reef. Every single bloody time. <laughs> Let's place down some normal pumps. Alright. You go over there. Then we have one right over here. And you... Absolutely perfect. So you guys will slowly drain away for as much as you can. Go ahead. And once you're done, I'll come revisit you. But in the meantime, that means it's exploration time. And there is something back here. Can I go up here, please? Oh, yes. Yup. Oh, yeah. Exactly what I was looking for. Hello. Can I get one more ornament? Thank you. Still Halloween, sort of. It's a while ago, but it's fine. Sponge shrub. Chunks of these shrubs are great for scrubbing up in the bath. Apparently, and also just purely decorational. Well, no matter what, I'll take it. And also take your money. Perfect. And meanwhile, as I'm looking around here, I see a blue one right over there in the middle. Which I can't open yet. I can only open the green ones. Which is kind of sucky. But it is what it is. And ooh, this would have been a way to get the heartbeats as well. Nice. And there is you. Thank you. Well, don't need you, but... Just enjoy the food. Have fun. Alright, heartbeats go in here. Because I need a lot more pink ports now, apparently. Uh... Yeah, the one carrot. Just the one I've got. Uh, no slime outbreak just yet? Not yet. Oh, but it's soon going to be an outbreak. How many hits can that roof take is what I wonder. Anyway, have one carrot. You'll survive. And the rest, all the other things for me. Like put those in the storage. It is kind of 50-50. A little bit less than 50-50. There's more carrots than old onions for sure. But the old onions then I can store right over here. Or the carrots. There we go. Those will slowly be fed to you. The old onions I take along with me to store elsewhere in case we ever might need them. It's because they grow so much slower. Well, basically with any old onion I find, I will be happy. So... Odd onion, in you go. Everything fine. Gotta love that storage. And Halloween rock. Um, let's see. Let's put you... Oh, that's definitely not far enough. No. Right over there. Uh, I, I, I would like to have you look in my direction, please. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> All right, so uh, further exploration food here is going nicely. I'll grab a few Oka Okas while I'm at it. Thank you. I so want to know if I can automate this at some point. It seems like it's a possibility with those possible drones. Like, what else would you use drones for? Either way. Uh, my phosphors are going to run out of food soon. There's only six more Q berries, but they'll manage. What do we have in the meantime in regards to range exchange? I want to help Ogden out. Eating carrots help you see in the dark. You already told me. And you want Oka Oka. Nine carrots and seven pogo. Uh, how many Oka? Four. Excuse me. Passing through. Uh, one, two, three, and four. <laughs> Always handy to have a few. There we go. And... I'll quickly grab you a few carrots and some pogo fruit, because eh, the re reward isn't that amazing, but it's something. And in the meantime, hello, Harp Module MK3. Thank you. I'll definitely pick you up as soon as I'm ready with my shopping list. And also Power Core MK3. Yes, please. But I am going to need all the money for that, which currently... Well, I do have money. 
but not for that. Just when I thought that we'd have more than enough money with all of those stored plots, the slime lab comes a knocking and gives plots an entirely new usage. At this point in time, I doubt that we'll ever be swimming in new bucks.